Celtic Myths and Legends by T.W. Rollison, Chapter 3, Irish Invasion Myths. The Meaning of the Danan Myth All myths constructed by a primitive people are symbols. And if we can discover what it is that they symbolize, we have a valuable clue to the spiritual character and sometimes even to the history of the people from whom they sprang. Now... An implication that people have is that, oh, the non-Christian stories, they're not literally true. They're like representatives of something or they're distortions of something. And that definitely happens. But to say that uh, such people are primitive or savage or pagan or heathen, like pagan and heathen has nothing to do with, uh, has something to do with their religion rather than just, you know, just their style. Like the Romans used to use the term. Um, there's some issue with that. And it prevents us from figuring out a lot of things about our past. If we say, oh, well, you know, they're just making it up. But, oh, the, the church is true. Yes. Um, now the meaning of the Danan myth as it appears in Bardic literature. And though it has undergone much distortion before it reached us, is perfectly clear. The Danans represent the Celtic reverence for science, poetry, and artistic skill, blended, of course, with the earlier conception of the divinity of the powers of light. Do we have to personify or divide divinity into different entities? Is that already done, or is that unnecessary or wrong or something like that? Answer that question for yourself. In their combat with the fear bulgs, the victory of the intellect over dullness and ignorance is plainly portrayed. The comparison of the heavy blunt weapon of the fear bulgs with the light and penetrating spears of the people of Dana is an indication which it is impossible to mistake. Again, in their struggle with far more powerful and dangerous enemy, the Fomorians, we are evidently to see the combat of the powers of light with evil of a more positive kind than that represented by the fear bulgs. The Fomorians stand not for more, stand not for mere dullness or stupidity, but for the forces of tyranny, cruelty, and greed, for moral rather than for intellectual darkness. So, good and evil is not a positive thing. Hopefully you can walk away from this program with that thought.